Hi everyone, I'm Henry Lee, BlueHairArts.com. Now we're going to show you how to mount a large Chinese brush painting on rice paper. This is about a, a three quarters of a whole sheet. So this is very big, and we're going to mount it with a silicone paper, a dry mounting method. Uh, we have to do it in sections, you will see. I will explain as we go. So the first step is to spray some moisture. Although it's a uh, dry mounting, we still need to have a little bit of moisture. It could be sprayed directly on the front of the pin. So uh, let me do that. I use a sprayer with water. You can use any uh, water spray. I just uh, create a mist. I walk around because the pin is too big. I try to keep this uh, large water drops off the paper. Okay. So just use the mist. If you have a zoom up, zooming uh, view, you can see the water dots. Maybe let it relax a little bit. You have to spread evenly. Make sure it's even, so it would shrink evenly. Okay, that's about it. And let it uh, set for a minute or two. Uh, clean the table. Okay, now we can uh, use that half of the table to continue. Try to keep the moisture away from the silicone paper because the, this, if the silicone paper gets wet, it will create wrinkles. You need uh, some paper weight to hold the paper in place. Because the painting is big, we need to do in two sections, half and half. So we do the lower half first. Um, you can use a sheet of a newsprint to cover, or any drawing paper to cover the painting to protect the paint from dirt. The iron may have, uh, uh, may not clean, enough. so you need to this on and then iron from the center out you can start from you can start yeah from the center at first you just do very quickly to make it uh, uh, flat then we'll um, heat set it so in, in the first, just brush the air out. Just drive all the bubbles outside. Air bubbles outside. And uh, you can peer it to take a look. Not a, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. So just keep iron. There's no major faults, anything like that. So you, you can apply more pressure at this time. You can start from the edge to set it. Because the, the painting size, uh, we, we can use a little higher temperature and move uh, faster. Because if it's small, you can use lower temperature. 
we try to cover the large area. There's a lot of labor with large painting. If you're going to mount a hundred painting, it will be tedious work. Lots of iron. So about uh, two minutes. Depends on how much water is spread. If you spread um, lots of water, it will take longer. So don't spread too much. Let's take a look. I see a little bit of uh, wrinkles on, on this here. Let's see if we can get that out. press too hard once you have uh, uh, the two sheets flat you just uh, apply temperature that the heat does the work you can see the color is uh, uh, back from uh, the wash it's, uh, before mounting the colors fade from the, the you know the wet. It now it brings back the color. You see that. And I need to iron some more. There's still some moisture here. So the large paint takes uh, all the work. You can go slower, just section by section, to set it. I don't have to press that hard. See, use the heat, not the, the pressure to. It's a heat sensitive, not pressure sensitive uh, adhesive. When the temperature reach uh, 180 Fahrenheit, you will seal it. You will set. You can spread more water if you got wrinkles. Uh, it will um, rescue it. But uh, spread first is better. Don't iron on a, a large painting 
before you try the small ones. So the experiment with uh, small pieces accumulated to experience, then go for the large ones. Mounting, and uh, you can do it with a dry mounting process, as we just showed you. And you can also do the wet mounting and check out my other videos. It's more uh, difficult for wet mounting a large piece than a dry mounting. So you decide, and uh, practice makes perfect. You need a taste. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>